Hey everybody, I did a stream last night um, where I played my energetic series one through four. The material I did about four years ago, guys, and a lot of my perspectives changed a lot because right now I believe that we're in the ascension. And so some of the material is a bit on the older side and the perspective was kind of dealing with the old system as opposed to what we're merging into, like ways that we could accommodate the old system. But we don't really have to accommodate the old system anymore, folks. And this morning I got a question about it, asking for more clarity, like about what you should do. And I'll just read the question from the, the viewer without saying her name because I didn't talk to them first. But it says, uh, what if you're a victim of this? You'll have to see my presentation last night to understand this. But it's basically about, you know, people who are energetically manipulated or have their bio field extracted or whatever. Okay. So the question is, what if you're the victim? And now you know where you fit in this matrix that is ever so morphing. Despite loss of social life, media, identity, years of not knowing and constant antagonizing to the point of looking as if you're the one with issues, financial struggle, organized crimes, aiding and abetting, ways to, uh, ways to get you for def uh, deformation of characters, cyberbullying, cyberstalking, disinformation, manipulation, hacking, and fraud. Besides the common sense to get away, what should one do if they're the hunted, so to speak? This is actually a good question because... Again, I don't have all the answers on these things aside from that I've tried to encourage in, in my material those who have figured it out and actually have ability and resources, then it's your it's your what you're here to do is organize and you'll realize that over time the more you understand what the game is. So, I'm going to read my response instead of just whatever here. This is what I put down on the on the clip. This is what I've been discussing regarding energetic people of interest. They often call themselves self-damning names, and I don't blame them. Once you figure out the game, then from then on, it's a spiritual battle top down. The whole point of keeping you in a suspended state of misery, lack of acceptance, financial and social ruin, the entire purpose is to remove, remove you from spirit, which is the universal plasma field. Why? Because you have the ability to bend the plasma field in a way that is exponentially stronger than average. Those who get, uh, those who get people into the matrix of deception, want you to be either wired like those who exploit you, meaning if they can um, convince you or simply force you into a lifestyle where you're constantly reinforcing their values, then you're largely left alone. If you say you won't be what they want, decide to exit their world, then from then on they will seek to destroy your biofield. The biofield isn't the same thing as an aura necessarily, but in theory, they have this, they have similar things going on. I don't like to cross the terms because auras are less consistently known and seen. Biofields can be measured with a GDV Carillion system, like a biowell. The stronger your biofield is, the more you can influence other people via the universal plasma field. This is psychoenergetics. The Department of Defense and the Defense Intelligence Agency in the U.S. studied this for defense purposes. They learned how to create what are called ERDs, event-related desynchronizations. I have documents on this, guys, it's, and it's actually easy to understand. They learned how to create ERD, event-related desynchronizations, in people who have strong biofields. This is a method that jams brainwave. You achieve the best results of bending the plasma field when you're in alpha brainwave around 7 to 8 hertz because you are closest to the Schumann resonance base signal of 7.83 hertz. Sounds about right. Can we agree? When you have stronger than average biofield signatures, your brainwave will idle closer to earth brainwave around that 7.83 hertz range. When you understand what that really means, you'll know what you have inside you. It's nothing people should be messing with with any malicious intent, yet the most glowing, loving, thoughtful people are within this group of high emitting biofields. This is also where some of the most toxic and malevolent minded persons exist. People in the darkest corners actively seek out these people. Understand what this really means. You can influence others at a subconscious level exponentially higher than average, assuming you're one of these brainwave types. I have a name for this, guys. I call you bioenergetic superdelegates. You know, you know, you have sort of like the same thing. In, like in America here, we have this thing called um, superdelegates uh, in elections where they represent like 10,000 votes, but they're one person. That's kind of like what these people are bioenergetically. They can just amplify their um, 
their bio field in a way where it just influences people at a subconscious level way more than average. This has been studied for decades, guys. It's what all the mystics know and everything. I'm adding things here, but let me continue. But I put, this is why it happens. What you must remember, whether you accept this or not, is that the most progress is made when you use your bio field to focus and concentrate on the world the way you want to see it. Thoughts become things is at a factor way stronger with people in this category. They manifest the bio field into physical reality. If you don't believe that that is all how all physical matter begins, then ask how a building is built, how a road is planned, how a design for anything becomes a product later. It always starts with focused concentration or an idea that flowed into the mind during the alpha state. The adept person who understands their power will know the game after that. Your opposition will always try to create stall, lag, delay, stress, and why? Because when you are focused on the immediate stress, you stop doing things with your alpha frequency that can bend in the biofield and manifest what you want into physical reality. If you get thrown off of alpha frequency or are simply always distracted by negative events, you begin to lose your spirit far easier. When you become disconnected from spirit, the universal plasma field, you accept the negative reality that is presented to you and then become a conduit of your adversary's negative intention. This is what I call karma transfer or karma delay. They are avoiding their own karma. Transferring negative intention to you is a key aspect of breaking your spirit. Don't allow it. You are more in control of your brainwave than you realize. It takes practice. Don't lose hope. Never give up on your connection to spirit, no matter what you believe it is or um, what it is or is the source. Losing your connection to the universal plasma field breaks your connection with God. When God is separated from you, then others can take on the role of God, or it takes on the menacing traits of what some would call Lucifer or Satan. Part of the healing process will be that people will wake up to this reality and understand how many people have been hijacked, souljacked, spiritually, using psychotronic generators. And again, this is part of the ascension, guys. Everybody's going to have an awareness of this now. This is why I say, like, a lot of my material was done using old logic, but I know we're in the ascension now. So a lot of these whole control systems and things that are damaging to our, our internal spirit, those types of lifestyles will just begin to go away. People won't seek them out. They won't even look for these things. We're all ascending. Okay? They are accumulators of this human biofield. They suck energy. People via brainwave can be DOR, dark orgone radiations, accumulators. Ever been around someone that feels like they're sucking your energy or spirit? That can be human to human or machine to human or, or ma human to machine. Some of these people can literally use brainwave to affect machines and computers. This is all proven. I, uh, it's been proven and they document, sorry, I, I even wrote, wrote this. It's been proven and they documented it in the controlled offensive behavior report by the defense intelligence agency, which you can find in the declassified CIA FOIA library. I hope that that helps you understand it. Work on that first. And then once you feel like you have mastered or have enough understanding to ask questions, then find your tribe. That will be far easier to do once you do the work in the bio field. You will draw in the right kind of people like a magnet. You will seek them out like a magnet. They will seek you out. Together, your bio fields will gain strength. You won't feel as disconnected from spirit. None of this comes easily. It takes years sometimes, but you'll realize over time that no matter how difficult it's been up until now, once you get it, the veil is lifted and things begin to change. They change around you, others like you in ways that you couldn't believe. This is why I made a case for forming a group that performs rescue or extraction operations. Many people who have this ability are in subtle or overt forms of human slavery. It ranges from being like Britney Spears, who appears free but definitely wasn't, to being an actual like human traffic slave whose story is never heard. In my experience, there is little being done to actually save, rescue, and protect any of these people. Spears only got help because she pushed, 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 shouted, and then pe and then she had a per, you know a public persona that just absolutely couldn't be ignored. She did things that could not be ignored in tandem with already having media attention. The people who don't have that, see what I'm saying? They need help. They need others. They need somebody to kind of step in and go, do you need a little bit of assistance to get out of that situation? Are you sure that's what you want? That kind of thing. 
because guys, free will's huge in this. And so like if Britney Spears doesn't even realize what's happening to her at a free will level because this is so effective, how does she even get herself out of that until she just wakes up one day and goes, no, you see what I'm saying? And that has a cascading effect. When people like that who are influence leaders do it, others begin going, hey, and then you all start to find one another. You find your tribe. It all happens. And then it's the flower of life. Your brainwave synchronizes with their brainwave. You have a common goal. And then things begin to manifest into physical reality. And then you actually have your group. Then you actually go and find the others. And that becomes your goal. That becomes your focus. All right. So I said, Spears only got help because she pushed, push, 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 shouted. And then finally, people started figuring out that she wasn't really free. I can't tell you how many people are experiencing that right now, but they don't have mansions and money and a trust to fall back on. They need way more help. My hope was that we can inspire those who have the means and resources to support this effort of rescue. The best people equipped to perform said rescues would be people who have been exploited by those who enslave. They know the ins and outs of the controllers. Most of them have already seen it all. They will have the best ability to create bridges for others to cross. That is why I decided to do this material on sexual energetics. I learned that there are many talented, intelligent people who want to help and have all the ability in the world, but their past exploitation or life choices give a doorway for people to shun or shame them. I personally don't care what someone's history is up until now because we're in the ascension. We need everyone with the strong biofields. But sadly, many of these people were used and abused severely and oftentimes completely broken inside by the time they get to be my age. I'm in my 40s. But this is when they have the most knowledge and receive the most wisdom. They don't deserve to be discarded just because somebody manipulated their biofield voluntarily or by force. Now is the time for a major cleansing where people just forget these things, leave it all behind and understand what they are and were placed here on earth to do. So that's all I want to leave you with is it's sort of a, a, a part of like, I'm glad I wish this question would have gotten asked last night during the live stream because I, I would have loved to have integrate this into the material because that's the core theme here guys so if you watched last night's live stream check this out i hope it resonates with you so hope that helps and you know to the person who wrote it or anybody else god bless